What up gang, it's your girl P and as you can tell by the title, we're about to get into a story time slash advice slash little talk time, whatever you wanna call it. But before I get into this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, go subscribe, hit the bell to be notified, all that good stuff. And if you're feeling my lip color, make sure you go to prissypcosmetics.com and get your lip colors, they're $9.99 guys, all matte lipsticks for right now. I'll be coming out with the gloss and stuff. I have a new manufacturer, new everything. So these lipsticks are totally different than the last release that I had. But as you can tell by the title, we're going to be talking about something a little a little serious here and a little personal to me. Um, as you guys know, I am, like I told you guys before in a previous video, I'm the oldest sibling of two other siblings. Um, I have DJ and I have a sister named Ulyssia. Um, and I want to talk about growing up with divorced parents. So my parents were together. Um when they were pretty young i want to say they got married when they were like tw in their tw my mom was like 19 20 my dad probably was like 22 23 um but my parents met when they were in high school and my dad was a football player both of my parents they were from miami well they were in miami florida um they went to central high school if you guys are from miami and know central shout out to the rockets um, my dad was, like I said, he was a football player. My mom was just, you know, a, a school girl. And my, um, my mom's mom and uh, my mom's mom and my mom's side of the family and my dad's side of the family went to the same church. But, and they also went, you know, went to the same school. My mom's mom died when, when my mom was 19. And my mom, my dad always wanted to date my mama when they were in school. He always like, you know, was attracted to her. He always wanted to be with her. And my mom never really, really was attracted to my dad. He never, she never really liked him like that. Even though he was a football player and all the girls loved him. But my mom just wasn't really feeling him. But my mom's mom really really liked my dad and his family and you know my mom you know she remembered that when when her mom passed away so when her mom passed away when she was 19 you know my dad was still in the picture still trying to push up on her so you know her mom passed away she gave him a try so they was together they had me a dj blazer blazer just to give you guys a little bit of background on my family so i want to say um um, I don't want to put too much information out there because it's a lot that goes into divorce and why people get divorced and it's different reasons for different people and sometimes people have to do what they have to do. Now, do I believe in divorce? Yes, I do. Do I think it's okay to get a divorce? No, I don't. I know that might sound kind of contradicting, but... I have my reasons and if you watch the whole video you would know why and if you are a teenager or a young child that's watching this video you know that's maybe going through, through this right now with your own parents you know hopefully you'll learn from this and you will see things from a different insight instead of thinking that your parents you know are horrible people so I've always been a daddy's girl and DJ has always been a mama's boy so I want to say whatever happened with my parents to push my mother to the point where she wanted to get a divorce. Obviously, I think I was like six or seven. DJ probably was like five or I, oh, I was like seven. He like six. But either way, we're like, you know, close in age. I never understood, you know, why they were why they didn't get why did they get a divorce or why they were separated i was always that child like you know trying to think of ways to get them back together or you know not really fully understanding of why but i'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about why i said that do i believe in divorce and i say yes because i believe in divorce because if i'm not happy with someone and it's not just ha being happy. It's just if this person, if we have did, we have exalted, or am I saying that right? If we have exalted everything that we could possibly do to fix the, the issues that we're having and that does not work, then yes, I say divorce is okay. And sometimes 
divorce is probably the best thing you could ever do to just keep your sanity you know because so it's a lot of people who are married and and are just they're just not happy and sometimes one one of the one spouse you know your spouse you could be the only person in your marriage actually praying for better and the other could just totally be doing opposite not caring if you guys make it or not and it takes two people to make a marriage work if you guys really want it to work and you guys want better and you guys want to stay together you guys are both going to put in put in the same amount of work to make it work you know what i'm saying it's not going to be um you giving 95 and he's giving five percent that his five percent is not strong enough to to amount to your 95. so that's why i said i think divorce i i feel like i believe in it because a person can only take but so much you know what i'm saying so it's like if you're doing the best that you could do and that's it what can you do and especially if you're dealing with someone who is no longer attracted to you and they want a divorce then what can you do you have to let it go you see what i'm saying so that's why i believe in it and i think i said something about is it right is divorce right and i said no i said divorce is not right because in god's eyes you guys are t forever you know you guys took a vow before god you know through rich or poor health wealth whatever that's what in god's eyes you guys made that y'all locked that for life you guys are one now it's not okay for divorce it's not okay to marry someone when you know that you're really not fully in this 100 percent, and when you know that you're not going to fully treat that person like you're supposed to treat them so that's why i said do i believe in divorce yes do I think divorce is okay? No. Because some people that marry for the wrong reasons and it just go to strambles. It pisses me off. It really pisses me off because I like, I mean, me from a biblical standpoint, marriage is the whole long stretch, the long haul. Ain't no divorce. I don't want to hear that. If you upset, go sit in the living room somewhere. Let's talk about it. Let's figure out what, what what's not making you happy in this relationship. You know, let's figure this out. You know, and some people, they, you know, they just, I don't know. It's just sad. It's just sad. Some people will just stay and stay. You know, like back in the old days, you know, like your grandma, your great great grandma, your granddaddy probably won't shit. You know what I'm saying? Your granddaddy probably was an alcoholic doing whatever he was doing, but your grandma stayed. Back then, women stayed on that word. You know what I'm saying? Women nowadays, they don't care. They will leave your tail. It's a big difference in, like, you know, the as we get older and the, the way the world changes it's like divorce is normal now is nobody saving divorces anymore no one's praying against divorce everyone's like okay you did this i'm not happy with you you don't make enough money you don't give me you don't have sex with me you don't do this with me you don't give me enough time you always on your phone you always playing your game you always watching tv you don't ever pay me no attention people are getting divorced over those type of things and back then like I said, your grandma probably was dealing with a lot of stuff with your granddaddy. He probably was, he probably had four of the kids by another woman and grandma stayed because granddaddy was making sure the bills was paid and grandma didn't care about nothing else. As long as them bills was paid, grandma was good to go. So, you know, she, she probably didn't see her husband, but once a, once a week, but she, she was okay with that as long as he took care of the house you know and, and back then men made sure they took care of responsibilities as far as the home so i guess divorce rates were a little lower then because of that um where now it's like people just don't care i'm just like oh he leave his shoes in the middle of the living room floor i'm divorcing him anything can get you divorced now it, you no one's no one's saving anything it's just it is what it is who cares but it's gonna be a part two to this video because i'm gonna talk to you guys about growing up um growing up with divorced parents and in the way that it was and how it felt and dealing with it um and then also having a younger sibling dealing with the same things um so stay tuned for part two we're gonna talk about being a kid growing up with divorced parents and the things that you know that hurt the most and the things that 
you start to realize made sense you know what i'm saying so if you have been if you were growing up in a household that was divorced comment below tell me some things that you experienced or what do you believe in divorce or do you not believe in divorce comment below let me know i would love to hear you guys feedback on that bye gang